care to be knocked down because the fire there yesterday had made them unsafe. Meanwhile, 40 people were evacuated early this morning when a fire broke out at one of Southampton's hotels. Residents at the Southampton Park were allowed back after half an hour. Now, a look at the local weather picture. The afternoon and evening will remain overcast, but the heavier outbreaks of rain will soon move away eastwards to leave just a little light drizzle in places this afternoon. There'll be a fresh to strong southwesterly wind throughout, and this will bring further outbreaks of rain overnight. Temperatures will remain around 14 degrees Celsius throughout, and that's not too bad, is it? Don't forget to join us for the afternoon news. That's at 3.55 over on BBC Two. That's on BBC Two. Meanwhile, we have South Today at the regular time on BBC One, 6.35. Join us later. Bye for now. Sunny Australia is our destination in 25 minutes for the start of our new weekday serial, Neighbours. First, the one o'clock news with Martin Lewis. One o'clock news from the BBC with Martin Lewis. Good afternoon. Top Conservatives have been meeting in Downing Street to consider what Geoffrey Archer's resignation means to the party. Their aim is to limit the damage. The big bang in the city goes off with a whimper. The computers break down. Why Ian Botham won't be available to play for England next winter? and America's new First Lady of Song. Oh, my dear, our love is here to stay. Senior Conservative Party leaders are considering the impact of yesterday's resignation by Geoffrey Archer. But it's clear that Mrs.